Now, mm. uh, two very uh, setup orientated characters. They like to keep their distance. So we'll see how the pellets interact with some of the grenade setups and all that jazz. But let's get it, man. Of course, Pokemon Stadium 2 is the pick. Yeah, I'm really curious how MBD is going to deal with the projectiles of Mega Man. It seems like uh, Mega Man has so many options to just blow up the grenades safely. Yeah, yeah. The pellets, look at that. The, the saw blade will detonate the grenades or at least clank with them on the way towards him. And of course, the pellets are going to be very troublesome mid range because he doesn't really have to commit into the grenade range. Look at that. Even detonating with up air. Yeah. He does not have to commit into this. And the edge guarding could be oh. rough. Oh, man. Oh, wow. The grenade's still catching him even he was that low to the ground. Right now, nice. pretty even, though. Yeah, he's going back and forth right now. MD getting caught up with that uh, with the Nikita. Yeah, but even after he gets hit, the hitbox of Nikita is still active, so you actually got to be careful. Yeah. Okay. Now, you see how... Uh, oh, so, my God. All right, so MVD is definitely the snake player. Don't be fooled. Yeah, what's going on? I was like, MVD? Fix the but. names. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it, it is switched. All right, there we go. Kameme, best Mega Man in the world. But um, I didn't see how it exactly it happened, but it looked like MVD did go ahead and lose that first stock. Yeah, he uh, got another Metal Blade to up tilt. Uh, you don't have, he, oh, wow. wow. He could, have, he could have teched that one, but Yeah, he I did ready. not see the red, red splash of Doom. But, uh, yeah, metal, uh, metal Blade confirms in the up tilt from Z Drop or just like throwing the Metal Blade. And yeah. it killed Snake actually really early too, so that was very surprising. And these Metal Blades are going to be able to detonate these uh, grenades even after MVD shields it and the grenades go onto the ground. Very, very big deal here for Kameme. Oh, oh even dude. comboing off of yeah. that and just being able to safely pressure Snake as he's like pulling grenades is such a blessing, dude. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. He doesn't have to deal with like these trade situations that other characters do. Like we saw with Krom, where he tried to jump in with the aerial. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! He that almost, he almost got him with the tricky, tricky man. Yeah, the the rush setups. I haven't seen that in a while, but still works. Yeah, and there's not there's not very many matchups where Snake can't play his game. I feel like this is one of the matchups where Snake can't completely play his game. Don't do it! Oh my goodness! We they almost saw another one. Braver than the U.S. Marines, man! <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow, tried to go up with the uh, the up B, trying to catch him off the top with the, the flame sword. The Kamehameha is still chilling, not taking too much damage. Okay. Yep, just going to toss him right out. MVD trying to survive. He's, he's holding on to this max rage, gets through with the air dodge. Another grab here. Okay, Kamehameha sets up the saw blade, has to respect the grenade, goes back here. Honestly, not too many pellets, just a lot of saw blades. Yeah. I think it's, he just knows that he get. oh my god. That went through. It I went thought through he got, it. I thought it, he got interrupted, but actually yeah. Mega Man in his uh, dying breath was able to get that shot out. Wow. He didn't even die, so. That was your perfect trade for Kamehameha. Oh, yo, hitting him with the duck, man. Yeah, he actually does that quite a bit to just low, pro uh, low profile moves and like get like a whiff punch up tilt. Wow, there's the up airs, and up air is just a very safe way to catch Snake's landing. And if you're far away enough, you do not have to worry about the grenades. If anything, Snake might have to worry about pulling grenades on up air because the up air might connect and then detonate the grenade on him, and he's just going to take way more damage than he should. There's oh again goodness. the saw blade. Wow, this pressure, and just a perfect mix of saw blade pressure and pellet pressure. And really, I, I'm, I'm not too sure what MVD can do because... It's, it's just so hard. Usually Snake just wants to set up the grenades, yeah. but look at that. He's just yeah, taking he, damage. He tried to pull a grenade and just got stopped in his tracks by the pellet. He can't even crouch under the saw blade. Wow. That's insane, dude. That's that's actually crazy. Snake can crouch over under so much thing. Oh, Dash tag. Wow. Ooh, sneaky, okay. sneaky. Not the best DI there. Uh, I'm not sure where he was aiming with that forward smash. But I don't know. It's still going to be a rough comeback for MVD to make. Oh, okay. The grenade's saving his life there. It looked like it was going to be a... Wow, never mind. It didn't that matter. Move has a very generous hitbox. And yeah. off the top we go. And like you said, it, it was looking pretty grim because the whole pacing that Kamehameha was playing that entire game, it definitely looked like Kamehameha was like, yeah, if I do give you an opening, it'll be a very light opening. Yeah. <laughs> and you will definitely have to outplay me very, very hard to win this game. And uh, like I said, I don't I don't see MVD switching to any other character, so let's see if we can figure out this matchup here. Of course, thick and thin, always with the snake. He has a lot of faith in this character. Uh, MVD thinks very highly of this character. 
Yep. Of course, Kameme gonna continue on with the Mega Man. Uh, pretty much the main thing we've seen in the bracket today. Um, he has a bunch of other characters, but not seeing any of the Wario today. Not no, seeing any no, of no Wario, no Sheik, no Joker. Ooh, getting the spot dodge. Ooh, looking brawl out here. Nice. Big damage, and this is the first time MD starting off with the lead, so now he can comfortably set up without really worrying about not putting the pressure on the Kameme. Oh man, the grenade tray, he wasn't able to capitalize on getting that hit. Oh my goodness. Man, look at that. What do you do? Every time you pull a grenade, <laughs> it's just going to blow up on your shield, not and like, because most of the time when Snake pulls a grenade and shields, they really want you to come in and swing and hit the grenade so they can come off, yeah. combo off of it. But then like Kameme, is just so good, and like this recovery has so oh. many mix-ups, it's gonna be really hard to get this Nikita. But right now, MVD still has the lead here. But man, look at this. Look yeah, at this he's play. just keeping him in his tracks next to the grenade, so he just has to deal with the, with the shield. So smart. And even with this very large lead, Kameme is oh. still pressuring him, but wow. The down B, the C4, MVD gonna take the first off here. There Ooh, it is. Big damage. Now Snake up an entire song, so MVD can actually just set up and run. But it looks like maybe maybe MVD look, looking like he's mixing up a little bit of aggression, pulling the grenade, going for that grab right after as well. Oh, punish oh, here. Oh, wow. I like how he threw the grenade up before he get the grab. That was really smart. Oh, oh. the knuckle. Oh, wow. my oh. God. He air dodged to avoid exploding. Maybe thinking he would have to tech there, but no jump. And uh, maybe he's going to drop that another stock. Yeah, and I mean, we'll definitely take that. MVD took that straight to the bank, man. And now three stocks to one. This is looking pretty grim, but Kameme gets the back air, but it's not enough to kill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, I didn't know if that directional air dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we he, talk about how far that directional yeah, air dodge go, is? Jeez. Really far, yeah. Man, that recovery is amazing. Wow, Kameme kind of like pushed the grenade onto the ground from the platform. That was very interesting. Gets the jump with the up oh. air, and look, it's still going. The saw blade, oh, a lot of trades. Yeah, really doesn't want to be trading in this situation he's in. Like, he's already behind by so much. Yeah, but I feel like if any character can trade, it's going to be Mega Man. You have a lot of, you have a decent amount of weight, right? Yeah, as long true. as Kameme can some way, somehow, rack up a little bit more damage, somehow get this stock. Oh, oh man, trade. Okay, now okay, now we're getting a little yeah. too. All right, all right, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> these, these trades are a little too much oh, now. Wow, great DI way. on MVD. Usually a lot of people will DI that, like, up or just like standard away. Looks like uh, MVD kind of did that down in a way so he wouldn't get confirmed into the backwards aerial. Oh man, MVD not giving him the role he's looking for. But there's the forward air. 73 is actually not bad for Mega Man. Yeah, it's not. He, Like I said, very, very heavy. Did not take too many trades after we uh, mentioned that. And look at this, Kamehame is gonna slowly chip away at this mid range where it's very, very safe for him. Does not have to commit into these grenades, and that's where it can get really rough for Snake when you have to commit into these grenades. Okay, MVD getting some information there. Got oh. the tech roll away that time. Oh, no nice. grab, okay. Ends up grabbing with the dash grab anyway. Oh. Kamehame with the mix-ups and the saw blade right into the pellets. But wow, this time Kamehame getting a little too close there. Now he's gonna deal with the Nikita here. He has the metal blade. Oh my yeah. goodness, another SD from Kamehame. Barely missing the ledge. Yeah. MVD's going to turn that one around. Some would say that MVD pressured him into that SD with the Nikita. Some would say. Okay, you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. All right, so MVD getting himself on the board. 1-1 one, one here versus Kameme. Had some unfortunate SDs, but you know what, man? You got to take it. And this that game number two might have given MVD the momentum he needed, the confidence he needed for the rest of this set. Definitely. I mean, before it took him losing two games in a row to come back, but this time he was able to get game two back in his favor. All right, so coming into this game number three, Kalos is the stage, probably Mega Man's strongest stage, uh, but also pretty strong stage for uh, Snake. But I feel like the reasons why it's strong, Mega Man's just like, oh, well, I kind of don't care yeah. that you can, like, platform camp with grenades. Oh. Wow, shield pressure. Yeah, MVD wants to fight a little bit more than for. He, I feel like he recognizes he loses a zoning war to Mega Man most of the time. Yeah. Oh. So we're seeing more of a mix here from MVD, setting up certain projectiles and then like either weaving out or weaving in. Yeah, he's definitely getting a lot more gr aggressive. Even like, I feel like pulling the grenade at mid range right there, we see MVD going into Kameme with some of these B reverse grenades, right? Oh. And it's working out wonders. 
Now he's dead from down throw up, so for sure. Hey, Bye -bye. there it is. Only took 50% clean first stock from MVD. Yeah, and like I said, it could have been the momentum he needed. And not, like, not going down 0-2 and just going 1-1 is just perfect because it gives you more time to figure out the matchup, right? Mm -hmm. So now MVD looking very, very comfortable here. Pretty much an entire stock up. Oh. And now Kamemi kind of getting a little too close to these grenades. Maybe just MVD kind of switching up the pace. Oh, he's living, though. That okay. was a crazy snipe. Yeah, and that was really good. Uh, if you panic and jump there, you will die. So yeah. really good stuff from MVD knowing exactly what to do when you get hit by up air that high into the uh, that high up. Wow, I like that just drifting with him. Man, we're trying to set up another offstage situation. Putting the rush down. Getting the saw blade set up here. What's the setup? Oh, Tries to get the Z drop, but MVD yeah, not Yeah, the grenades for it. there too. So it actually met, limits the range he can go for that. Yeah, MVD was like, I saw what you did to Nico, bro. <laughs> Can't get past me. And really trying to get this forward air, but MVD is just not giving it to him. Gets the t wow. Oh, he no went for the C4 sticky textures. That's crazy. Maybe the up tilt wouldn't oh. have killed. Oh, okay, it definitely would. That one killed. It sure. definitely would have killed. <laughs> yeah. Wow, MVD. What an, a crazy turnaround, dude. Like, three stocks to one with no SDs on deck this time. Yeah. On Kameme's counter pick. Yes. Like, that is a statement, if I do say so myself. Yeah, especially after Kameme looks so strong game one. Yeah, look at that. He's coming. He's bringing the grenades closer to Kamehameha. He's not letting him get these free mid-range pokes. You know what I mean? So I love that MVD is mixing in the aggression. And, you know, most of the time, Snake can just play that zone game, can just set up grenades all you want. It's like, well, how do you come into this setup? But I love that MVD has the ability to see what the matchup has, like what he has to do in a matchup, and just adapt, man. Really yep. good stuff. And every little hit he gets is just icing on the cake at this point. Oh, but you know, MVD is perfectly fine with dying there. He literally got two grenade trades just yeah. for Kamehameha to take the stock. Trade, 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 especially when you're three stocks to one. That's all MVD wants to do. That's all Snake wants to do. Keep pulling those grenades, man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get back onto the stage, MVD. Gets the up air. Ooh, oh, he's he tried. going crazy with the rush, trying to take him all the way to the top of the screen. He tried to get MVD to bounce on the rush, too, and then maybe set up into up air. Something kind of like a spring ride that uh, Sonic... The character that's not too relevant at the moment uh, get used to get. He probably still has it, but wow, Mammy's still doing good. Can he get this uh, second stock offline? Here comes the forward airs, very very safe. Trying to get the saw blade set up. Ooh man, MVD, that saw blade going right underneath his feet there. There's oh, the forward air. Deep right. deep forward air, catch the up B. Still right. finds himself really close to dying. And man, he just, I, yeah, like you said, he's bringing the grenades closer to where, even though he's blowing them up with the projectiles, he's getting blown up himself as well. Wow, and there, Kameme hitting Snake, but not hitting the grenade. Oh. Really respecting that Nikita. Oh, oh man. The episode was coming. And look at Wait that. A minute. MVD, MVD's trying to find his way in. Oh, man, the directional air dodge to the ledge. No double jump, though. There's the air dodge. Kameme doesn't pull the oh. trigger. So close to hitting that C4. Setting it up, and look at this, just really punishing MVD for pulling these grenades and hitting them as he's pulling them out. Oh my goodness, so many grenades. Ow! Oh my, my goodness. Woo! The we got it. into the Nikita, man. Oh, and there's the knee slapper, MVD, just coming going through. Going up in the set to one. Grenade in to the Nikita Kameme. I see that grin. He was like, all right, all right. I see you, man. That was pretty good. So going into this game number four, now MVD up 2-1. But I got to say, man, even though MVD won that last game, I feel like coming into this game number four, Kameme will be the one with the momentum because he was the, like, the he one was making the – He was bringing it back for yeah, sure. Yeah, he was making the 3-1 to one slot com comeback, and it, it, was, uh, it was looking like it was a possibility for sure. Yeah, yeah, he definitely had MVD shook a little bit. I saw a way too many panic air dodges off stage. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know a snake is shook. When you're like comboing them on stage and they're doing like directional air dodge instead of pull grenade. Yeah. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> you can just pull grenade. <laughs> yeah, Kamehameha's gonna run it back to Kalos here. Let's see if he has a little bit more success. Bring us to a game five. Or is MVD gonna send Kamehameha packing and move on in this tournament through winners? It's gonna be really rough right now, though. I love the crouch, avoiding the pellets there. Oh. Wait a minute. Nice. Okay, there we go. Kamehameha setting up shop here. Just taking control of the center stage. Doesn't care that the grenades are all there. But MVD, like I said, he's bringing the grenades to Kameme, yes. which is really, really smart. 
now that he has center stage control, just utilizing this corner pressure. But man, that saw blade is so good at detonating these grenades and just making them blow back into MVD's face, man. Yeah, it, it, it blows up the grenade and it still keeps going. Yeah. So he can like get combos off of it as well. Double grenade here. Oh, oh my gosh, he's oh. moving, but that, that, was, that one was good. Yeah, that was a metal blade up so bad. Wow, covers the roll. Kameme stealing the first stock. Really well, uh, hard fought there though, because Envy was starting to make those explosion trades like really work in his favor. Look oh. at this, so much safe pellet pressure coming out. And when will he pull the gren or when will we pull out the saw blade? When MVD pulls out the grenade. Yep. That's pretty much uh, that's what he's mainly saving that saw blade for. It'll be his main tool. Where are we going? Oh, okay. I like how he jumps back slightly, but did he catch his jump with that down smash? Wall jump? Uh, no, nowhere to go. Only did 27%. MVD still in that stock with record time. Oh my god, Dare with the grenade, so much percent. Ooh, tried to get the down air, but Kameme hits him up with the back air. Again, pressuring. Ooh, MVD sneaking the grenade in onto Kameme's area, though. The back air didn't detonate the grenade. Oh. Oh, no. Wow. He was just trying Dude. to pull out a metal blade to throw it. MVD's grenade placement is just getting better and better as the set goes on. He's yeah. placing them closer and closer to Kameme because he knows that he's using the saw blade to detonate them. Oh, and there it is again. And, now, and then he's also mixing in the fact that he still can put the grenades next to him. So really good mix-ups coming out from MVD. Now yeah, Kamehameha. and it's really messing up. Uh, Kamehameha's set up with like the middle blade into uh, up tilt. Oh, okay. Oh, no not, gonna, not gonna fully connect. MVD throwing out the forward air. Oh man, okay, the Cypher gonna get that little nick of damage. Oh. And the up smash, it doesn't detonate the grenade. That was very surprising. Yeah, I was for sure it was going to detonate the grenade, but it's actually just scoops Snake up, and the grenade was just sitting on the ground watching, man. As, like, Snake's getting up smashed, he's probably, like, looking at the grenade like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> supposed to have my back we're, here. We're <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. All right, Kamehameha chilling. Oh, oh never wow. mind. He thought he was safe, but that C4 is always looming. Sometimes, right you just, you. sometimes you just forget, man. It happens to the best of players. Even these top level players, best Mega Man in the world, dang, just straight up forgot that it was yeah. there. It's actually not easy to see on this stage. Yeah, yeah, it is a little darker. Yo, come here, he's like, yo, can I put the. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, MVD's back on stage. That was looking scary. Yep, see, again, MVD jumping into Kameme and like drifting in as he's pulling the grenade. That's what he wants. He oh. wants to get close to Kameme with these grenades. Shield standoff here. Ooh, oh, oh, there man. is another trade. He's trying to get them wow. to connect, but the forward smash is just enough. Okay, well, Commitment with the fist pump of his own. All right. Well, Shrides. Oh, Once again. Another game five. We're here. Game five. Kameme versus Thunder Gaming's own MVD. Um, I don't know what the R2G stands for, for uh, Kameme sponsor. I think it was like Ray Road Gaming. I'll know. just say R2G. Yeah. Shout out to R2G, man. Uh, but man, this is a uh, very interesting set. I wonder what the counter pick will be here for MVD. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, oh, Mega Man, man. I feel like they both benefit from the same stages uh, pretty heavily. Yeah, yeah. They so. definitely benefit from just having a lot of space. They, it, It's such a, to me, this is a really interesting matchup, but it's fun to watch because it's like, they're both playing such a different game revolved around like where MVD is like placing some of these grenades. Is, is it offensively? Is it defensively? Where is he throwing them? Is he just like coming into him with the grenade? Is he fading back with the grenade? All right, so no character switch, no curveballs here. I almost thought the Did you catch the coming. save? Oh, I, didn't see, I didn't see the stage, unfortunately. Oh, we're about to find out here. Game five. Oh, PS2 again. All right, well, we're here where it all began, PS2. Or at least it's pretty easy to see the C4 on this stage. Yeah. When the whole stage is green, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fortunately for uh, Kameme here. Yeah, I, I know sometimes snakes will put it like right on the edge of the uh, the platform, so it kind of blends in with the black. Yeah, I've heard that as well. And like where the Pokeball is. Yeah, yeah. Like right where the black part is. Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's just too deep. <laughs> <laughs> the grime is real, man. <laughs> we really trying to win out here. Oh, very nice stuff from MD just holding down on that and right now Kameme starting it nice and slow doing a really good job has control of the saw blade here oh, for MVD but wow beautiful ledge trap grab. the forward air is oh, back here that jumps coming oh tried to hit him up with the rush 
And I think MVD's double jump was gone in that situation, but uh, Kamehameha not opting to uh, opt or capitalize on that. It's going to fade back. I mean, he doesn't need to. He's in a great position. Again, doing such a great job of hitting Snake without hitting the grenades. It yep. sounds very simple, no. but definitely not an easy thing to do. Oh, okay, the grenade's actually putting him in a much more fortunate situation than yeah. just getting hit by the raw saw blade. Oh, oh combo, okay. Wow, you actually got Cypher grenade back here. Oh my goodness, uh -oh. dude, he's at 90 uh -oh. already. Why, are is you dead? He, oh, he, he's in a terrible position now. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, he didn't directional air dodge straight left. He actually like arced it up and then drifted in. Very, very oh. tricky mix Oh, up. F tilt one, up tilt. What you trying to grab, Kamehameha? What you trying to grab, man? It looks like it's uh, MVD's feet, man, with that up tilt. MVD going to take that first off. Great directional air dodge. Makes his way back to the center stage and gets the grenades going. Oh, no. No uh, no punish out of yeah, shoot there. Sur very surprising. Maybe Kamehameha not ready. I know you can jump Z-drop as a punish, but maybe not on the correct side. And, of course, just a very hard uh, thing to execute here. The back oh, throw is going to take it. enough. Kamehameha not, honestly not taking too much damage here from MVD. No, not at all. Oh, Ooh, there is range. another trait. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like sometimes Kamehameha is underestimating the uh, the range of the grenades. Like, he's getting the saw blade, but he's getting hit by that max range of the grenade. Trades back and forth here. It's just crazy because, like, both these characters are heavy, too. Yeah. So it's like the trades do benefit Snake, but at the same time, it's not as beneficial as him trading with a lot of other yeah. characters that are just lighter. Look there at that all the safe pressure. You I don't care about those grenades, grenades over there, bro. Oh, wow. What a, what a parry, though. Getting the grenade from the platform. Still, maybe he's holding his ground really well. He's holding on to this Metal Blade for dear life. Yes. Metal Blade definitely trying to get some kind of Z-drop set up, but doesn't get it. He wants this up tilt. Z-drop up tilt would probably kill Snake at around this percent. It's just very, very strong. Gets the grab. What's the setup here? Use it. Wow, I like that. Just rushes up into the air. Oh, wow, no up smash. Just a single tap of the neutral air. Oh, no way. Oh, I thought the back air was coming. Damn. If he or like, up air. What if he, like, set up into the kill off that? that he could have. He actually could have. That's insane. Oh, oh, oh no. Wow. No time, but there's an unsafe up smash. Off stage now. MVD setting up the minefield, but there's the dash attack. The first dash attack of the whole set. Oh, just enough time to get the fade back forward air to punish that up B. Kamehameha moving up with the stock leader. One more stock for MVD. Man, the positioning coming out from Kamehameha on that edge guard is so, so good. He knew exactly where MVD wanted to drop down, knew exactly where he wanted oh. to cipher. There's the stick. What's he going to do? He's waiting so long. Oh, he air wow. dodged. Wow. Oh I, I just he, feel like they're reacting yeah, to it. Yeah, he uh, heard now, so he was able to um, do something. Them audio cues, bro. And here it is. Here's the chip damage. Okay, here's Leaf Shield, but runs away. But that mix-up, man, runs yep. away and then comes back and throws it right at him. Yep. Going for the shield pressure with the F tilt, but bad trade for MVD. Yeah, nice. I like the mix-ups. Trying to get a down smash. MVD really oh. trying to get this stock, but right now, Kameme keeps on tacking on this damage, all these safe pokes. And at this point, he'll take any trade. Yes. As long as he's not killing him. I shouldn't say any trade. <laughs> okay, and there. Ooh, order. Just again, look at this. How <laughs> is MVD? Get in on him. And he's trying to come in with the neutral air, but uh, Kamehameha may not, ha oh, not about geez. it. Oh, there's the rush. Look at that. Nope, we can stall on the rush very yeah. effectively. Yeah, so, so good. And look at that. Just staggering oh. the pressure with the pellets along with the grenades. Grena or MVD needs to get these grenades closer to Kamehameha. As I say it there, look. Forces in the shield. It, that's one of his tickets in. Can he get the Nikita? Yes, he oh, does. Unteckable. Didn't yep. do anything about that one. All right, last talk. It looks like uh, Kamehameha does have the lead here, but I've definitely seen MVD make his fair share of comebacks here, so I definitely yeah, yeah. wouldn't put it past him. It's not going to be easy, though. Look how carefully Kamehameha is playing around the grenades. Yep, look at that. Just using the salt blade to detonate it. Uh, MVD's trying to get these uh, grenades as close as Kamehameha as he can. Gets the salt blade into the dash attack. Ooh, oh, so tried to trick him up. Oh, oh <laughs> no to, combo. Try to kill him at 20 with that down smash, man. Wait a oh. minute. Yeah, those smashes are looming very dangerously. Hold up. Slowly but surely, already 48% on Kameme. MVD is making this comeback oh. a reality right now. So go high? Nope. Oh, wow. what a stall. Oh, he's We're alive. Looking, though. And off the second hop of the rush, too. Oh. Wow. Down smash? Wow, that was very Very coming. ambitious. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen a down smash the entire set. Oh, man, this is so close. MVD has max rage. 
I don't think an up tilt will kill just yet, but a couple more stray hits, and uh, he's going to have to respect that option. But right now, Kamehame knows that. He's not trying to get hit another time. He has a saw blade, and he is avoiding all these grenades. Oh my god, it's so scary right now. <laughs> I like MVD oh, actually hopping and throwing these um, some of these grenades now, too. Oh my god, my heart's beating out of my chest. I can't imagine how these players must feel right now. Dude, uh, Kamehame is just hopping around these grenades like it's nothing, bro. Oh, the forward air. Ah! Wave land. <laughs> Man, just out oh, of range. the grenade. No way. Oh, was that, that was god. a C4, right? Yeah, I think so. He's, wow. It's so close right Hashtag now. Hashtag planned. Yo, if he gets up tilt, he's dead. That that C4 exploding, oh. that calculated C4. Oh, the shield pressure. Oh, my God. Oh, man, this is so oh. close. Back is he going to get him? Oh, oh the up air. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Ah. oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. MVD. All of a sudden, MVD feels like the one in control of this he, match. He has it. He's so close to winning this. Oh, there's the up tilt. Oh, dude, this is so close. MVD's at 2 Hundred percent. Minute left on the clock. Oh, oh wow! I didn't even notice that the timer is ticking. Uh, my God, oh, dude, there, there's. If oh, they, if I said. Oh, oh, he didn't. That dude, was safe. No, no way. That was up to for what? sure. Oh, there's he a fourth throw. throw him, but he's, he's still alive. Living. He's alive. Dude, 48 seconds left. This actually might go to time. Oh, okay. the forward air. Oh my God. Wow, the forward air oh, finally connects. Kameme popping off, bro, and. Hugging it out. That was a great oh set. God. Dude, that almost went to time. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. That set had me had stress. me feeling a certain way. Stress. stress. That was too much stress, bro. I can't believe Envy actually almost brought that back from, like, over 100% deficit to from zero. Yeah, and he was at, like, 220.